Hi friends, welcome back to my Drupal class. In today's class, I will be taking one use case to show you how to create the blogging functionality. Blogging functionality is very popular among the different websites nowadays. Using the Drupal 7 or Drupal 8, you can easily build this blogging functionality. In my earlier classes, I have shown different examples using Drupal 7. Basically, there is a very thin difference between the Drupal 8 and 7 from the user experience perspective. Mostly most of the menu items are almost similar. So the class which I am going to show you today is uh, applicable for the Drupal 7 as well. So first of all uh, you need to create one content type. So let me go into the structure. From here you need to select content types and create the content type called blog. So I am creating and adding few fields under the content type. Now here is the option to create as many as fields you want for the blog. So most of the cases the blogging has a few fields for example date. So since this is existing so I am selecting another label name. So now once the date is created, I need to add more fields. Let me add image field. So you can create as many as fields it needed uh, for your blog. For now I am creating few fields. So the image field is created here. You can define the other parameters for example what would be the maximum size of the image etc. So I will be adding one more field uh, called category. So before that I need to create one category under the structure. So let me go on to that. This category I will be creating with the help of taxonomy. So let me give any name block type. So I'll be adding few terms under this block type. So let me add few terms for example technology then I am adding lifestyle sports I'll be just creating few fields here for an example but you should create as many as fields required for your blog so let me come in this screen add more fields now let me add that category here So I am just looking for taxonomy term. Enter category. So I will be selecting the same uh, which I created. Now I'll be selecting the vocabulary as a block block type which I have just created. So I'm now saving it. So okay. So your uh, fields names are ready basically. Now let me uh, add a few f contents under this block type. So I'll be going into content. I'll click on add content and select the blog. 
this is test one block and you should basically give the proper details uh, in the description also so you will select the text format basic HTML or full HTML whatever applicable to your content so let me select the date and time now if you want to add any image you can add any image here so I am just leaving it blank for now so I need to select the category for example if it is sports uh, it is basically coming from the category which I have created in this screen okay so if you come here in the taxonomy and if you click on list terms then you can see the list of terms available here so that uh, terms are actually displaying here so let me save this so now I have completed creating one block let me create few more contents here so contents are basically the blocks which I'm going to show you and display at the front end as well this block two this is the description let me select the date and time now I am adding this under another category lifestyle so if you select it and if you type something it will auto populate so this is a great functionality now I have created another block so now this way you should create as many as contents or blocks uh, whichever required for your website now this needs to be pulled uh, in the front end and show you so for that I need to use the view in my previous classes I have shown in detail how to use the views in Drupal 7 basically it is uh, similar in Drupal 8 as well so let me create one simple view you need to go under structure then uh, views is already here for Drupal 8 you don't need to enable the external community build module it will be by default enabled and it will show here so basically uh, this community build module has been ported as a core module in Drupal 8 okay let me create one view here so let me click on add view let me give you the name as blog and I'll be selecting the type as blog which I have created a few minutes ago so let me create as a blog also and page now if you want to show more than five or ten records in page use pager then add it accordingly so I am saving and editing this so in if you go down the preview section you can see the list of blocks you can design as per your requirement in my previous classes I have shown you in detail how to theme or design the blocks and in the format section you can select any formatting how you would like to show or display your blocks so for now I am not going into details how you would like to design your blocks so I am keeping as is for now and here you can add as many as fields or whatever required for your block so right now it is selected as a teaser so the content teaser is showing by default here with read more options okay now let me save this block and before doing this let me add it into any menu so let me select normal menu entry give, let me give the name of the menu is blog okay it is already added to the parent main menu let me save this page now you are almost uh, there your blog page is ready now if you click on view page you will be able to see the block page is created so list of uh, blocks will be shown here with the read more options if you click on the read more the detail page will be shown here so basically in your real life block it will have a lot of contents and images here with that if you want don't want to sh show the 
any level name here you can um, uh, off and on it from the display section under the content type in manage display so which i have already shown in my previous classes so you can design accordingly over there so right now i am just showing how to uh, display the list of blocks here and if you want to open your uh, comment sections uh, for the users you can do it from here also let me show you that as well. So in order to show the comments for any content type, you need to add a new field called uh, comments. So let me go into the manage fields for the block which I have just created. So let me create add field and then we need to use the existing comment. Then save and continue. So let me keep it open and save it. Now you can see the comment field has been created here. So let me go into this existing content which I have created in the blog section. So if you see here, the comment settings is coming here. So let us save, save it. Now if you click on this blog section, you see this comment section has come. And if you want to keep it open for anonymous user, you need to go into permission section and keep it open for anonymous user. So let me add any comment. So I'm saving this. So this comment will come just beneath the block section. So this is pretty much here. If you click on block, you can see the list of blocks. So if you want to add any social media icon and you want to share your block, you can enable the social media module here you need to go into Drupal the Ruvarg to download the latest version from here so which I have downloaded from before and added into my local instance okay and in you just need to go into structure and then you need to go into this content type you need to go into the block section manage field and you need to add this social media block so which I have already added this and now if I go back to my site and click on this particular block, you can see these social media uh, icons are showing. And if you want to share with uh, any social media platform, it will come into this uh, uh, preview section. And once you submit this into Facebook, it will post into the Facebook wall. So it is a pretty much straightforward and easy. So if you want to add your uh, blocks into different social media pl platform, this social media share model is very beneficial so now in the left hand section if you want to add uh, the latest uh, uh, blocks or uh, most popular blocks you can do it easily using the views in the views you just need to create another block and then put it into the left hand section and uh, you need to enable that uh, particular left hand section block for this block pages only so this is a uh, pretty much for creating the blocks using the drupal 8 uh, thanks. Thanks for watching.